Hi everybody, Steph here and today what we're going to do is show you, yes, as it says on the tin, a Schaefer fountain pen. If we open the case like so, inside we've got the Schaefer instructions which will pop to one side. We'll take the pen out, let's put the case to one side. Now what we have here is a lovely um, Schaefer Crest fountain pen. Now this particular model is the model number 582 and well as I say it's a Schaefer Crest and these particular pens were based on the older um, Schaefer snorkel fountain pens although saying that this, this is quite a modern fountain pen although I say modern um, these particular pens the the Nova pens were actually launched 1996 they were only in production for I believe for two years so they run through from 1996 through to 1998 they came in well the crest itself as a pen came in numerous different patterns um, numerous different designs etc but within this particular range of the Nova pattern they brought out I believe well three other colours this particular one is this absolutely lovely ultramarine blue they also brought out a colour they termed as flame red also a emerald green in this particular model and last but not least they brought out a lovely cadmium yellow um, yellow colour in this particular pen as you can see there to the top it's got this very recognisable Schaefer clip if we just turn it around slightly you can see there as with as opposed to the older versions where they had the white dot on the pen itself you can see now that the white dot is actually situated on the clip itself there all the trim on this particular pen is actually 23 karat gold electro plated and if we actually show you the the cap band let's try and keep it nice and still so you can actually see it okay so what you can actually see there it says well what I'll actually do I'll turn it as I'm talking to you it says gold electroplated and then if we turn it around a little bit further you'll see it says Schaefer and then USA so well as it says there the pen is made in USA the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 142 millimeters capped around the barrel here it's again approximately 11 millimeters in diameter and as you can see as with the older pens it comes to this this uh, taper to the end there let's give you a little bit of a close-up of the colour there you can see it's got this lovely pattern and I believe these particular patterns were actually applied by hand and then over the pattern um, I believe they actually applied a, a, around about 23 layers of, of lac to the pen so it, it's a lacquered pen and again as I believe being hand decorated the pattern that you can see there but all in all a lovely lovely colour let's take off the cap now the cap on this particular pen unscrews as with the whoops a daisy as with the older type pens and if we just show you the the cap and the pen together there just give it a couple of little twirls a very attractive pen if I may say so myself so let's put the cap down there let's take you first of all just to the top of the barrel there what you'll notice again it's got this gold plated threaded section just above the barrel there just above the threaded section you've got this lovely smooth black section and then what you'll notice there a very recognizable um, Schaefer nib now the nib on this particular one is an 18 karat gold what they term as a wraparound nib and it's got actually it's got palladium highlights to the nib so what I'm going to do again let's try and keep it as still as possible so you can see there to the bottom it's gold and to the top there you can see the palladium highlights let's try and bring it a little bit closer 
To the top there you'll read the imprint, it says Schaefer. To the left of the nib there you can see it's got 18 carats and if we twirl it round slightly you'll see it's got the number 750 for the, for the gold content. And if we turn it round there you can see again very similar to the older type pens you can see the, the feed underneath, underneath the nib there. Let's give you a sideways version there. You can see it's got a lovely lovely piece of iridium to the end of the nib there. This particular pen as far as I can see has never been inked. So let's take off the barrel which again unscrews and these pens are now fitted similar again to the earlier type pens with a Schaefer converter. And again, if I just sort of hold it up, I'm hoping you can see there, you can see that the window in the, in the sack there is lovely and clear. And again, as far as I'm aware, the pen has never been inked. But for you people out there that love to see pens writing, what we'll do is let's ink it and let's do a writing sample. So what we do is dip the nib into the ink, press the bar, and I'll be quiet at this point. There you go. I'm hoping you could hear all that bubbling noise going on. We'll just simply wipe the nib a little bit. Let's put the ink to one side. Let's pop the barrel back onto, onto the pen. Let's bring on our little pad here. So, as I said before, what we have here is a Schaefer, this particular one being the Crest. The model of this particular pen, as we mentioned earlier, is actually the 582 and it's in this series of pens that Schaefer did um, in 1996, what they termed as the Nova pattern. Now this pen is writing absolutely lovely. There's no flexibility in the nib. It's quite a hard nib, but all in all, lovely, lovely pen to write with. I'm actually quite impressed. Very nice. I say it's writing with a, well, a fine, well, fine to medium just to cover myself but all in all very very nice to write with lovely and smooth okay so there's the writing sample of the pen so let's pop the cap back on so there we have it the Schaefer Crest fountain pen in this ultramarine blue absolutely lovely colour so I hope you've enjoyed looking at this particular pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Don't forget, I've got lots of videos on my channel. Go and take a look. Don't be shy. Leave a comment. But for now, I'll say bye-bye now.